<laughs> yeah. <laughs> he would yeah. do a spin. He ah. would. Do... <laughs> Oops. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> apparently russell's not with us today um he's jet setting and all these things but he might be the brin of our recaps i don't know that's giving very brin right it's giving definitely brin especially brin with the brin's giving and the back out oh and yeah constant, like greeting everybody with her back it was amazing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. speaking of which i was a little disappointed with her choice and outfit for this party in this episode was that because she wanted to put on this whole character of, um, you, you know, the parent trap? And that was like the whole, like, I'm going to be your stepmom. Um, I think we're jumping a little ahead because I do want to still talk quickly okay. about Je Jessel yeah. and um, her husband and the kids and, and whatnot. Yes. Um, and how controlling she is of him. But <laughs> I got to say, I might be a Jessel apologizer. Is that the word? Like, I seem to be like, yo, she is crazy. What is wrong with her? But then I look in the mirror and I says, I'm, I'm very similar. So. <laughs> uh, and I'm owning it. I mean, it's like, I don't, I don't, I'm not exactly like her, but like, I really enjoy watching her on the television. What do you think about like just her kind of like social climbing in terms of where she wanted her kids to go to school? Do you think that was a valuable thing in the long run? Or do you think that's kind of a nuisance? I mean, look, is it a nuisance? Sure. It's obnoxious, but at the same time, she's not wrong. Mm. Like, going to school matters and where you go because you do rub elbows with different people and even those of us you know that kind of came up regular in the public schools and whatever and went to colleges and you were supposed to go to these great colleges because you know you were super smart or you got in or whatever a lot of us didn't even realize how important it was that not only did you go there but you had to like actually build relationships with people that have pool in this society. And even though America tries to act like it's a class less society, it's not. Classism still exists. It's real. And it does can affect your future. So she's not wrong. But when she was running down that list of everything for the preschool and said that they get <laughs> uh, an iPad for $65,000. <laughs> he know. has become... He's what? become comedy too, just because he re he has he to deal wrong. with her. Like he's a grounded human being, and mm -hmm. she's insane. And it is the funniest thing. He was like, "She's like, oh, they get an iPad and they get whatever snacks." And he was like, "And it's sixty five thousand dollars. Like that makes no sense." And they're in preschool, but that also, mm -hmm. like, just for the record, the insanity mm -hmm. of preschool being sixty five thousand dollars. What do you do in preschool besides <sighs> and eat animal crackers? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure she mentioned a lot of really good things, like you said, like say what you say, but it mm -hmm. does connect you in certain ways. But what's fun on the television and to be edited is like, ooh, we could rub shoulders with Tom Cruise. Like, exactly. I, think, <laughs> I think like even though we make fun of Je Jessel and we laugh at her and all these things, I, I relate to her sometimes. I still feel like she's a little smarter than she's letting on on the show. I think this comic oh, relief. Sure is like she probably sits there and films for an hour and a half, but we're only getting just the asinine, silly, silly things. But oh, it, it's good for TV. Um, she's so on the guy, though. She's so on him about, oh, you got to, You went to go buy your clothes, and I don't really yeah. trust you. And I got to say, this is what made me really be proud of him or like him. He looked so good. Like, he put it together despite the nagging that she does. Yep. That, that that's real love there he's just yeah. like okay girl whatever i'm gonna do what i do and he's just chill and even kill the whole time so now i don't know it. if you, courtney i don't know if you are a relationship expert um i know you're a filmmaker a host all these things what do you think is the root of the problem with them not getting it on ever i mean this is what what, what is your take on all that look i i think that size husband has a very clear kind gracious grasp of what she may be going through like granted i've never given birth to a child from my own body but i have had children in the household and it it is it, not easy and she went through seven years of ivf and for those that don't know ivf is shots after shots of hormones shifting your energy your moods your attitude and you literally are on a schedule for when you can have sex because you have to do it when you're actually ovulating and when you know 
linings are proper and whatever in hopes that you actually get pregnant. So if you did that for seven years and you had to like regiment it and then you finally get pregnant and not only do you get pregnant, but you have twins and they're still what barely, they're not even two years old yet or almost two. Her body still is probably working out the hormones that she was injecting for seven years. Like she probably still isn't completely balanced back to what would be considered normal. So I get, I mean, you know, she's still postpartum and all of that, like it doesn't make sex attractive. And she's, you know, a woman of a particular age, continue to age. What is she in her late thirties headed towards 40? Like hormones change. So I'm a little shocked that they haven't figured out something for almost two years and that he's okay with it. I understand why she's not pushing for it. I don't understand how he's not to the point where he's like, okay, well, we might not have to have sex, but we got to do something. Well, yeah, and the idea that, like, okay, on a normal day to day, you have your own lives, like, but when you're going to Aaron and Abe's, you know, anniversary, you're they looked beautiful as a couple. Like uh, to me, that would be like the perfect time. You know what I mean? Like, you know, get the babysitter or have your mother. If the, I don't know if the mother lives there, but you know, obviously she has support and help. They got money uh, for it. Get help, child. Uh, um real quick courtney do you have anything to before we go to the next thing do you have anything to promote or any like social media handles you want to put out there in the universe we'd love uh, to support in any way <laughs> well i would love for you guys to obviously follow me as Stuart starlet but also uh, follow me at silver guardian productions which is my production company and we're working on some really cool things in the metaverse that are coming up so um check that out and if you have projects that you are looking for some production support on hit us up on our website and send us over a little contact us page and let us know what you got going on and we can help you out um you said you like sai so I want to talk about Sai and the relationship with the husband. Just yes. a brief, brief moment. We only had a little bit from them, but we'll do that in one second. But while Courtney was uh, letting us know about her stuff, we always got to talk about randomly Ronnie Jr. One second. Well, hello there. Thank you for watching and supporting the show with my good friend, randomly Ronnie Jr. Who the hell am I? Great question. Um, my name is Mark Rodriguez with Mastermind Media, and I wanted to take just a moment of your time to let you know about all the other incredible things this guy, randomly Ronnie Jr. has going on. Um, but first, before we get into that, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, that is how he grows here on these channels. Uh, but one channel you probably don't know about is patreon.com forward slash randomly Ronnie Jr. where he's got a bunch more exclusive content. So please check that out. But speaking of YouTube, let's go back to YouTube for a second. He's got this hashtag randomly with Ronnie Jr. And it shows all of his stuff in his days in radio from back in the day, all the way up to present day and his new interviews, podcasts, uh, just videos across the board. So please check that out because when you think about content creators, there's millions of content creators, but there's only one randomly Ronnie Junior, let's get back into the show. Well, I mean, we should always listen. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one. I agree with everything he said. Um, <laughs> so you said you like Sai. Now, we didn't get much from her. Um, my question to you, just what was your reaction to what we did get from her before we get to the party? But um, you said you followed her on Instagram prior. I did not really. I began to kind of see and be aware of her once she was on the show. Yes. I gotta say Hey, Ronnie Jr. 